We know that magnetic fields cause effects for moving charges, but it turns out that moving charges actually have effects on magnetic fields as well, or generate their own magnetic fields. This is a wire that moves up through this ring stand, and uh, then back down to our power source here. And then I have the wire running through a piece of paper, and then around the wire, the, the place where the wire passes through the piece of paper, I've got these compasses that are all lined up with magnetic north right now. So what I'm going to do is turn on the, uh, uh, the power source, and when I turn that on, we're going to watch for these compasses to change direction and see what happens there. So back to the compasses. They're all lined up with magnetic north, and now I'm going to switch on the power source and we find that they all move. In fact, they all move so that they kind of point in this circle around the, uh, the wire. And that's the magnetic field that's generated by the wire being turned on. The strength of that magnetic field is going to depend on two factors. It depends on the amount of current running through the wire, and it depends on the distance uh, that a certain point is away from the wire. Uh, and so the magnetic field, we can calculate that strength as mu naught, which is the vacuum, uh, let me make sure I say this right, vacuum permeability, not the vacuum permittivity, which we used for electric fields, but the vacuum permeability, uh, which is for magnetic fields. Uh, and that value is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. The units are tesla meters per ampere. Um, so it's that mu naught, vacuum permeability, divided by 2 pi, times the current divided by the distance from the wire. Now as far as direction goes, we actually have another right-hand rule to help us figure out direction on these. So if you have a wire, and let's say that current in this wire is going from top to bottom, so it's flowing this way, the positive charges are moving this way, the electrons are moving this way. Uh, so, for this, uh, this new right-hand rule, all you have to do is place your thumb pointed in the direction of current flow. So that'd be upward right now. And then your fingers, you kind of wrap around so that they, um, you know, they're perpendicular to your thumb here. They're opposing your opposable thumb. Uh, and then those fingers are pointing in the direction of the magnetic field at their location. So right now, if I am looking at some point that's out in front of the magnetic field, I can see that it's pointing off to the, uh, to the right here because of the direction of my fingers. If I'm looking at some point that's off to the right of the magnetic field, my fingers now are pointing back toward me or, or into your screen. And if they're uh, around, if I'm looking around to the back side here, now that magnetic field is pointing in this direction. And if I'm looking at some point that's off on the, the left side here, that magnetic field is pointing out towards you, out of the screen. Uh, and so the, uh, uh, the, the second right-hand rule shows that the magnetic field will just kind of form this circle around our wire. If we looked at this from the top down, Let's say we have a wire here, and uh, current is let's say current is flowing into the board. So our current is going like this. The magnetic field. See, I need to put my thumb into the board here. The magnetic field to the right side is going to be pointing downward. Below it is going to be pointing to the left. To the left side is going to be pointing upward, and above is going to be pointing to, uh, pointing to the right. And so our magnetic fields are just going to form these circles around the wire. Going clockwise this way, if that charge were uh, moving toward us, if the current were moving uh, uh, in the opposite direction out of the board here, then we'd have counterclockwise circles around this because we have our hand like this instead of like this. Uh, but the magnitude for that, it's going to be uh, strong when we're close to the wire, weaker when we're farther away, and stronger as that amount of current is larger.